Why hello to today we have Tommy Mon. Oh my lord. Um come on now. This is great content. Uh The Infant Prodigy 1903. So this one I accidentally skipped it. Um should have done it a couple couple videos ago. And um Wow. Like I can't Okay, so the story is basically about a child prodigy piano player. He is playing the piano for an audience, and he's he's amazing, and yeah, he's having like this inner dialogue where he just, he knows he's above all these peons, and um, like there's certain people in the audience that, um, like, a police officer relates to him because he thinks since he's a police officer, he's like a prodigy, and there's a critic there, and, um, uh, because he's a master at what he does, he considers himself on the same level as a prodigy, and so on and so forth, and, I mean, I guess that part of it's kind of entertaining, um, but for the most part, it just feels like a bunch of pretentious people thinking, oh, yeah, he's good, but I'm better. For, like, no good reason at all. And it just... Mm, there's, a, there's a part of Tommy Mon, his writing is just... And I think I've said it a bunch of times. It's just so pretentious. And I feel like that I'm missing whatever he's trying... You know, I'm not picking up whatever he's dropping now because I'm just completely missing the point besides it feels like kind of like a snooty person who thinks he's above a bunch of people writing about snooty people that think he's above a lot of people. And I could be completely wrong. I know like um, he seemed like he was the, the letter so the Thomas Mann and and Herman Hess, the, that letter collection that I read earlier this year, he seemed like he true, truly cared for Herman and kind of lifted him, you know, kind of viewed him, if not on the same level, maybe even better than himself. But um, I, I know there was like a lot of some dark things that Tommy Mon was hiding and and or trying to cover up in his life and i just kind of wonder if like to kind of make him feel better he makes his writing more pretentious than it needs to be more snooty more kind of uppity and um i'm better than you and i don't know maybe it's just the mood i'm in maybe i'm just in a mood i don't know but I see a lot in these stories. It just seems like I don't know. I just he's awfully pretentious. I, I don't know how else to. I don't. I don't know a better word of putting it. I'm still, you know, I'm not really enjoying it too. I, I'm sure it's probably come across in a few of my other videos. I do want to keep going because. Um, I, you know, Magic Mountain's kind of still on my list of, I don't know if I'm going to get to this year like I wanted to, you know, hindsight 2020 and all, and I didn't realize I was going to do what I was going to, what I was going to do, but I do want to, um, I do want to finish this book and, um, at least try to tackle the Magic Mountain and then go from there on my Thomas Mon journey, but I feel like... I just he's just not my he's, I don't think he's just I don't think he's my jam and that's okay you know that's okay if he's your jam that's great I'm happy for it but I uh, don't know Herman Herman has just he, he talks he talks to me a lot more you know I can kind of um I see the beauty in what he's trying to do and he, he, he talks and or his, his I enjoy his style a lot more you know, so, um, yeah, I don't know, uh, an infant prodigy, uh, what do you think of it, have you read it, 
If you want to read it, probably not after listening to this video, you probably don't want to read it. But, um, yeah. I don't know, man. Just, I don't know. So, uh, I don't know. The next one's either for Fiorenza. Well, that's a really long one. Uh, might be a weary hour. Maybe I'll go back and do Tonio Kruger, which is about 60 pages I've been avoiding to do. You never know. Maybe. Maybe I'll get one of these long ones done. Maybe I'll get one of these short ones done. It's going to come down to uh, how much time I want to dedicate to it this week. So, next week. Whatever. That's it for this one, peeps. Cheers.